the Washington Huskies and the Ohio State Buckeyes on ABC Sports. 20 years ago today, the 2003 college football season kicked off in earnest. Highlights from the opening day included number eight USC getting off to a good start under freshman quarterback Matt Leinart and running back Reggie Bush. The Trojans shut out eighth ranked Auburn 26 to nothing. The defending national champion Ohio State Buckeyes were ranked number two in the preseason poll and defeated 17th ranked Washington 28 to nine. The Buckeyes ended the previous season with a double overtime thriller in the national championship game, defeating the Miami Hurricanes 31-24. Controversy arose surrounding a pass interference call in the first overtime. An incomplete pass by Ohio State on fourth down with Miami leading 24-17 would have given the championship to the Hurricanes. But a late call by field judge Terry Porter gave the Buckeyes a new set of downs on the two yard line, resulting in a touchdown. This game is considered to be one of the major turning points in college football history, given the trajectory of these programs since this game. The 2003 college football season as a whole was also mired in controversy, taking place at the end of the regular season. Three teams from BCS automatic qualifying conferences finished 12 and one, LSU, Oklahoma, and USC. LSU's lone defeat was at home against 17th ranked Florida. Oklahoma's loss was a blowout against Kansas State in the Big 12 championship game on a neutral field. And USC's loss was in a triple overtime thriller to unranked Cal, 34-31. The end of the regular season had the ranking at number one Oklahoma, number two LSU, and number three USC. The computer polls kept Oklahoma at number one due to their number 11th ranked strength of schedule compared to 29th for LSU and 37th for USC. Human polls, however, moved Oklahoma down to number three due to the nature and timing of their loss. Exclusive coverage of the national championship game of the Bowl Championship Series. LSU and USC both claimed the national title. LSU beat Oklahoma in the Sugar Bowl 21 to 14 for the BCS national championship game. Heisman Trophy winner and Sooners quarterback Jason White completed only 13 of 37 passes, along with seven sacks and two interceptions. The ESPN USA Today coaches poll was contractually obligated to vote the winner of the national title game as the number one team. Three coaches actually violated the agreement and voted to keep the Trojans as number one. The AP poll, which ranked USC number one at the end of the regular season, kept them in the top spot following the end of the bowl season. After leading 21 to nothing in the third quarter of the Rose Bowl, the Trojans held off a late rally from number four and Big Ten champion Michigan, going on to win 28 to 14. This was the first time since the BCS began that the national championship claim was split between two teams. When the calendar turned to 2004, college football fans everywhere were left with an unsatisfying end to the season. Ted Waite, CEO of Gateway Computers, offered the NCAA $31 million to have a final game between LSU and USC to determine a real champion. Support was actually vocal from both schools, but the NCAA did not consider the offer. From its first season in 1998 to its last in 2013, the BCS was controversial. Ironically, its implementation was due in part to solve the problem of split national championships that had been occurring in college football for decades. A split national championship occurs when the AP poll and the coaches poll award the championship to different teams. It has happened 11 total times the year before the BCS, in 1997, the national championship was split between Michigan and Nebraska. 
Number two, Nebraska defeated number three, Tennessee, in the Orange Bowl to finish 12-0. Even though this was declared the national title game, it did not include number one, Michigan, as the Big Ten Conference winner was contractually obligated to play in the Rose Bowl. Michigan defeated number eight and Pac-10 champion Washington State 21-16 to finish 11-0. Even though the credibility of the BCS took a huge hit following the 2003 season, meaningful change wasn't pushed until a few years later. Following Boise State's perfect year in 2009 and TCU's perfect year in 2010, where both teams were snubbed out of the national title game, it became abundantly clear that the BCS was unfair to teams from non-qualifying conferences. Following the 2011 season, Alabama and LSU were selected to play each other for the BCS National Championship. It was the first time that two teams from the same conference were picked to play each other. Alabama went on to shut out LSU 21 to nothing. It was the third lowest watched national championship game in the BCS era up to that point. The Alabama LSU National Championship of 2011 was the final nail in the coffin for the BCS. The 2003 season will ultimately go down in history for the superstars on the field and the controversy it created. It's fascinating to me to look upon college football 20 years ago and see how much the sport has changed. Do you think college football was better in 2003 than it is now? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. This is Drew from Final Score Films.